Apparently this highlight's going to continue as Kepa's long ball goes to Lukaku who nods it. So, you've come back for more of my Chelsea beta save, yeah? Thank you so much for that. We've got a lot to get through in today's video. We've played a few games off camera. We've got a few transfer deals cooking. Oh, and uh, we've got the small matter of a London derby against Arsenal. So, let's get into it, yeah? <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And like I said in the intro, we have got a whole lot of stuff to get into in today's video. And so just before we do get into that, if you do enjoy this video and if you're excited for the release of FM22, Pop a massive thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. It will really, really help me out. It will help me out with the algorithm. This is the most important time of the year for my channel. So the more likes, the more subscriptions I can get at this point, the better it will be for my channel. And I will love you forever and a day. So please do crack on with that. And now... Let's get into it, yeah? The first thing we are going to look at today is the two transfer deals we have got cooking for you guys. And you can see them right here. We have got Ismail Benesha pretty much all agreed on him joining us for £23 million from AC Milan. I think I've seen on a few other people's videos that they've signed him as well. So it'll be interesting to see how I can get on with him. He's a three and a half star central midfielder pretty much by all his roles there. And if you look at his scout report, they say to sign Benesha, whatever the price, they say he's got three and a half star current ability four and a half star potential so they're very very excited about him he should be joining us in the next couple of days and then as well we're bringing in pretty much an fm wonder kid from the last couple of years in tiago almada from velez and we'll have a look at his attributes i'll have a look at his scout actually because we haven't got his full attributes just yet but they give him they give him an A minus grade, two and two maybe three star current ability, possibly five star potential ability. We're bringing him in for a price of four million, rising to seven point seven five million. If he's anything like he has been on the last couple of FMs, that will be one hell of a bargain. And so, as well, we have got one more deal that was completed before the Super Cup game in the last video, but I wanted to save it for this particular game, or this particular video even, and that is Julian Alvarez from Argentina. He's 21 years old. He's got 16 first touch, 14 finishing, 15 natural fitness, 15 off the ball, he doesn't look that amazing, I'm not going to lie, right now. But he is only 21, and so he's got a few years to develop, and he's going to be learning from the likes of Lukaku and Zayec and Havertz and Timo Werner. So he's going to have a lot of people to learn from. So I am quite excited about him, and yep, Two and a half star current, four and a half star potential ability, ability to do the unexpected. So I'm um, I'm excited to see how he develops over the maybe two, three seasons of this save. And so that is all of our transfer dealings 
that we have done so far. That's not going to leave us with too much money for deadline day, but we are going to be trying to get involved in that and just see what happens, what madness occurs on that particular day. And so let's catch you up on what's been going on as far as games since we've last been together. We've started off the Premier League season with our first three games. We beat my club, West Ham United, with a couple of Romelu Lukaku goals, which is a very nice start for that particular side mission I've given myself of making Lukaku the top scorer in the Premier League and the Champions League and trying to win him the World Player of the Year. So that was a very nice start there. Two goals, 2-0. Two Lukaku looked very, very good. But then after that, we had a mental game. 4-3, we lost to Aston Villa. Leon Bailey had a worldie of a game. He was just unplayable. Both times, he really had an impact on the game. He put the ball in the back of the net. And yeah, he was just way, way too good. Even though we scored three goals and Lukaku again got another couple, we just couldn't get a result in that one, unfortunately. But after that, we did follow that up with a 3-1 win away at Vicarage Road against Miles FC, otherwise known as Watford. We got a couple of goals from Hakim Zayet and Kai Havertz. Really looking forward to see how those two do this season. I'm expecting a lot out of the two of them. And we played very, very well in that game. If we have a look at the stats, you can see that we ended the game with 24 shots to their 10, 13 on target to their 6, an XG of 2.39, and 52% of the ball. So, yeah, that was very, very nice. Lukaku getting a couple of assists. So, even though he didn't score, he wasn't quiet by any means. And so, that takes us to where we are right now. I will show you the, the very, very early league table. You can see it just about there, but I'll bring it up big. We are fourth in the table, having won two and lost one. Aston Villa, who beat us in that game, they are the only team to have played three games and to still have a perfect record. So they might be ones to look out for this season. I don't know. But Liverpool have played two and won two, as have Manchester City. And so... Who knows what's going to happen with the title race. It is, of course, still very, very, very early days. We've got a couple of, we've got a couple of days until the Arsenal game kicks off. So I'm going to come back for that and I'll let you know the team news and whatever else you need to know that happens in between now and then. See you in a second. So we're coming back now because we have just had the draw for the Champions League group stage. And my word, what a group we've got. We're going to be playing against Erling Haaland and Borussia Dortmund. We're going to be playing against FC Porto and AC Milan. Can you believe what a group that is? I fancy us to get out of it, I think, but it's not going to be as straightforward as I was hoping. Wowzers. Also, we've had the Carabao Cup third round draw. We're at home against Coventry, so that's going to be a nice chance to play some of the youngsters and to rest most of the first team. And so, yep. See you again in a second for the uh, Arsenal game. This is the team for today's game. We've got Kepa in goal. We've got Chilwell and Pavard as our wingbacks on support. Zaga, do, 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 is our central defender in the stopper role. Thiago Silva is alongside him as a no-nonsense centre-back. 
And then in the middle of the pitch, we've got Kovacic as the box-to-box. We've got Saul as the ball-winning midfielder. And Mount comes in for Kai Havertz, who's got a twisted knee that he picked up in training, so he's not fit for today's game. And then up top, it's Christian Pulisic and Zayets, both as inside forwards on attack. And then it's Lukaku up front on his own as the pressing forward. So, come on, you blues. Oh, also as well, Thiago Almada has joined the club. So he is on the bench for today's game. You can see his attributes better there. 15 first touch, 14 dribbling, 16 flair, 16 technique. So yeah, I'm very happy with that signing for now. And so let's go and get into the game. Here we are in the dressing room. We're going to go pump our fists and we're going to go... This is a big rivalry match and we're favourites. Do I want to say that? Or matches like these matter the most for our fans. I'm going to try that. A few people are motivated. Most are motivated, actually, looking at it. So you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. And prediction time. 2-0 Chelsea, I think. Lukaku with a double again. That would be very, very nice. First highlight of the game is Mason Mount to cross it in. Ben White heads it away, but Zayets is going to be the first to get to it. And Zayets does, and is he going to cross it into the box? He does eventually. Lukaku with the header, and Lukaku's header just goes over the bar. That was a nice start. Second highlight now. Zayets with a corner ball goes into the box, and Lukaku again with a header, which just goes over. We're getting close. 18 minutes in. It's us with a throw-in deep in the Arsenal half. Chilwell throws it short to Pulisic, to Kovacic in space. He's got space for a shot here. He, he does take it on and it's gone in eventually, but it's gone in off Lukaku. I think he got the ball from Kovacic's shot. And well, 1-0 to Chelsea and Lukaku's got the first goal. So far, my prediction is correct, which is very nice. And yeah, I think Kovic's shot came off Tierney and fell to Lukaku. So that is a great start to the game. And oh, are they saying that this was offside? Never. Lukaku wasn't offside there. And well, he wasn't offside at all, apparently. 39 minutes into the game and it looks like Arsenal have got their first highlight. The ball's been crossed into the box. Silva heads it away. It goes back into the box, but Chilwell this time gets it away again. And now Tomiyasu for Arsenal. Into Martin Odegaard. Wide to Tomiyasu, whose cross goes in and then Aubameyang's it. Aubameyang has equalised. Ah, oh, that was not good defending from the cross in. Let's check this out again. Tomiyasu played it to Odegaard. And then Tomiyasu in oceans of space and well... Or Bamiyang, he made loads of space for himself as well. And that was poor defending. Immediately following that, lots of highlights in this game. Chilwell with a throw in. Salt to Pulisic. To Kovacic again. Kovacic works his way into the box and he shoots. But it hits the post and goes out. That is half time. And well... It's been a decent game so far. Quite a few highlights. We've had 13 shots to Arsenal's 9. 4 on target to their 5. An XG of 1.44 to their 0.73. And the XG started off very similar. But it's got better for us as the half has progressed. So hopefully that can carry on into the rest of the game. And let's go. Let's go hands on hips. I'm going to go. The scoreline doesn't reflect the pattern of the game. That's a new team talk line. I do like that. And again, a few are motivated. I'm going to talk to the different groups, try and get a bit more out of them. And just see what we can do. And just tell them all that I believe in them. Pavard's nervous. That's not a good sign. Silver's aggressive, Pavard is nervous, but everyone else is looking good. 
going to have to keep an eye on those two guys as the game goes on. 20 minutes to go in the game and we've finally got a highlight in the second half as Thomas plays it through to Odegaard. Odegaard back to Tierney. Can we win this ball back please? Odegaard plays it in to Thomas. Thomas wide to Smith Rowe. Tierney's in space. He's crossed it in but Zagadou's got it away and Zambi Lakonga to Thomas. Into Sambi again. He plays it out wide. Tierney's in too much space there. And Aubameyang's header is saved by Kepa. Apparently this highlight's going to continue as Kepa's long ball goes to Lukaku who nods it down. And it works his way forward. And that's an own goal. That's an own goal from Arsenal. Gabriel, who I was warned about, would be Arsenal's best player before the game. Well, he's their best player now in my opinion as Gabriel scores the most unlikeliest of own goals. Kovic's his pass was too much for Pulisic. But, well, don't think FM goalkeepers are that good this year. OK, two changes are being made just after that goal. Kante is coming on for his first appearance of the season to replace Saul, just to try and shore the game up. And then uh, Lukaku's going off for Timo Werner. All that pressing really has tired Lukaku out. So that does prove that stamina is a big thing this year. So that's good to see in a way, but not good in the fact that I'm having to take Lukaku off. Immediately after I've made those changes, we've got another highlight. Kovacic coming forward. He plays it wide to Pulisic. And Pulisic is getting himself into the box. Can he find a teammate? No, he can't. But he, oh, he might have been fouled there. I didn't think that was too much. But if we do get a penalty, I'm going to be a very happy boy. As he's looking at the VAR, he's speaking to his mates. And no penalty. Ah! Oh. One minute left of normal time and Arsenal's free kick has thankfully been claimed by Kepa. And now... Kepa goes long. What can Werner do with this? Not a lot, but it goes to Zayet and back to Werner. Pulisic is in space. Can he take a shot on or is he just going to run it into the corner? He's crossed it into the box. Timo Werner makes it a 3-1 victory for Chelsea. Yes! That wraps it up. Both of our strikers have scored today. So that's very encouraging to see. And now Pulisic crossed it in and Werner gave their keeper no chance. 3-1 to the Chelsea boys. I think that puts us second or third in the league. All in all, a very, very happy day. As the referee blows his final whistle. We have ended the game with 17 shots to their 15, 5 on target to their 6, an XG of 1.61 to their 1.34. And yeah, quite an even game judging by those stats. But we were the better team. We have got the win. And so we're going to do the team talk. Um, I'm very happy with, with the result. And yes, everybody's inspired and motivated. So guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. I was going to do the transfer deadline day in today's video, but it went a little bit long. So that's going to be an episode all on itself because a lot happens on deadline day hope you're looking forward to seeing what does go on and let me know how have you got on on transfer deadline day if you have got that far as of yet on fm22 but yep yeah, that's where we're leaving it for today we are indeed second in the table so if you've enjoyed that video Pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because it will really, really help the channel out and I will appreciate it forever. So thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming and I shall see you Wednesday for Deadline Day Madness. Bye.